Hi everyone. In this lesson, we want to look at uh, square roots and uh, solving a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. These sorts of right triangles show up often enough uh, that it pays to know a simple fact that makes them easy to, to solve. Now, if you have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, because these two angles are the same, then the sides opposite them will also be the same. And those are the legs of the right triangle, and then the hypotenuse is the long side. Well, what I know then, <clears throat> whatever this side is, I know I'm going to have this leg squared plus the other leg squared, and that will have to equal the hypotenuse squared by the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So, that means I've got 2a squared equal to x squared. So my x squared, I'll turn it around this way, that means that x is going to be the square root of 2 times a squared. And I can bring that square root of a out, or let's just write that as the square root of a, 2 times a. All right? <clears throat> so that's the key idea that we wanted to, to find out here. And if you have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, you'll notice then that that hypotenuse uh, the the long side of that right triangle is always going to be the same length as the leg but multiplied by the square root of 2. So all I have to do is multiply the leg times the square root of 2. So for example down here, <clears throat> if I know this is a 45, uh, 45, 90 right triangle, if this is 45 and this is 45, the sum of all of them have to add up to 180, so that makes this be a right triangle, then I automatically know that this side x has to be exactly the same as this leg over here which is 4 and then the hypotenuse is automatically going to be 4 times the square root of 2 and it's that fast and that simple okay here's uh, one more problem like that <clears throat> suppose I have a 45 degree angle here 90 degree angles here it's a right angle so I know this has to be 45 degrees as well then I know that these two sides are the same, but in this case I'm given that the hypotenuse is equal to 8. Well, if I were to just call this side here x for the time being, what I know is that this hypotenuse 8 has to equal this leg x times the square root of 2. So this leg right here has to be the hypotenuse divided by the square root of 2. All right? <clears throat> so I could simplify that if I wanted to. Uh, multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. So that would give me 8 square roots of 2 over 2 or 4 square roots of 2. So each of these sides is going to be equal to 4 times the square root of 2. And if I wanted a, an approximation for that, I could use my calculator here. That's about 5.65. Or if I wanted the approximation, I wouldn't have even had to have simplified it. I could have just taken 8 and divided by the square root of 2. Same answer. All right, so again, uh, just reviewing. So let's uh, write this here. So x is approximately uh, 5.66, if I were to round that off. Or 4 square roots of 2. So just to review then, if you have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, the hypotenuse is always the length of the leg times the square root of 2. So if you know the hypotenuse, then you can just divide by the square root of 2, and that'll give you the length of the leg. 